Welcome back guys. So I thought I'd get the tarp up because this beautiful weather's blessing us with this moisture. Um, Pre-summer cloud sweats, I would call it. Um, what I have in store for you today is a bit of back to basics bushcraft, knife skill, um, and camp admin. Um, what we're going to look into today is pot hangers. You know, um, you go out in the bush with minimal kit and you take what you need from the woodlands around you and you use that. Um, it'll become more apparent in a minute. And more, you know, I'll go from um, basic, uh, you know, if you're doing a hasty camp so you don't want to put too much effort into uh, um, your, your fire pit, then um, then into, you know, a bit more of a permanent thing. You're going to be there for more than 24 hours to, to a week, let's say. Stay tuned. I'll bring you back in a minute. What I've got here is a wide stick. The main trunk is going down through there, so I'm going to hammer it down, mallet it in with that. Um, if you don't have it complete wide, like if I start hitting it there, it's going to risk snapping. All this wood, if not most of it, I found in Deadfall or the Forestry Committee, which just cut loads of wood down over there. So none of this is green and deliberately cut down for this demonstration. So I might just put this into the ground first. So what I've got here, just stick around about five foot. This is just going to go around about this area here. Um, I will need to straighten this edge off. Put a little bit of a flat point on it for that in a second but to secure it in the back as you need it's the peg so when I hammer it down it's going to go over the back and going to hold it into place so whatever I dangle from the front here it's just not, not going to seesaw straight over into the fire and just ruin my life there. 
my pipe done. So now I'm happy. <laughs> Incoming. So now I'm happy with uh, this in place. Not risking a falling out or anything. Got my uh, pot hanger. Looks a bit like a hockey stick. Yeah, I pre-prepped this, okay? So I've cut this into position. It's obviously a, a stick coming off, off a branch. I've just cut it into means and ways to make it fit what I want it to do. So this is a simple case. That's that kind of do. So I'm going to see where my lowest point could be. Malleted in the X there. You want it to keep it in line with the hook on the same side of the hook as possible. But all I'm going to do is cut away. And you can see that. I've got a little bit of a point here, so I'm going to cut away here into this area here. I'll show you the finished product. So, what you can see there is trying to get the gist of doing and then have a slight hook you know and more like that it'll hang off here so where the hook meets i make a little indentation there Um, how many notches you want on there you go so this next one then is a bit more long term I would say it's a bit more long term it's less faffing around and straight in straight up as long as you've got the sticks already prepped for what you, what you need so I've got two wide sticks and one straightish stick got more power in a minute these two are going to go either side of the fire hammer into the ground and then you're going to put the centre pole in the beams like so. What should be too short now? <laughs> right. So we got our old pot hanger. I need to put, realistically put another notch into this, but just for demonstration purposes only. We can still use this. If you want to, you can probably put a notch in there and let it hang from there itself. I'm not going to go that, in, that much into that. I've got a prusik knot here. Push that through. Get our pot. It says. I need to make another notch now, but you get the gist of what I'm doing now with the knot there, the classic knot. Um, you could do it, still use this with a different adjustable one, just need to make a smaller stick. However, take this out. That over. What I have created here is a long term pot hanging hook. So this is made of uh, two bits of wood, or well, three in total, over the peg. So 
like that. They just fit together. The set peg, push it through. And there we have it, we have a pot hanger. make it smaller but you get the gist of it you've got your pot, yourself pot hanger you can boil the water move it anywhere same with the plastic knot so we put a yeah, plastic knot um, using the, the other style of pot hanger so there we have it this is going nowhere more sturdy straightforward a lot easier to set up this so guys that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed my bushcraft basics around a campfire, simple yet effective um, campfire pot holders. Um, however, I have got a challenge for you people, if you fancy it. Now, this pot hanger that I created, um, it can be a nightmare. If you never created one, I'd like to see... you create it so once you create it you know it all sits in there then you put the peg through it all you know sits in together giving you a permanent pot hanging system if you've got youtube i'd like to see you film it not the ins and outs of the cuts but the, your end product preferably and tag me in it much appreciated You've been watching Green Valley Outdoors. I'll catch you at the next one.